Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to have a look at what is in this brown box. This is the Ubiquiti USW Pro Max 24 PoE. Quite a mouthful. Uh, this is one of the first range of switches, although it has upgraded switch ports, that it actually has colored LEDs in it, all right, for easy identification. What's the idea of this? The idea of this, um, and I'll show you a little bit more when they light up in a moment, is that um, you'll actually see in the back the white panel in each of those, I'll show you a bit closer in a moment, lights up and can have a multiple different colors. So you can assign colors to VLANs, to PoE ports, um, and then there's a range of cabling that comes with this uh, called ether lighting and the LED, the light shines through. So the idea is you can walk to your rack and you can see very clearly um, what switch ports are configured for, for what way. Just another visual way of making this all work. Now you do want to know this is not a technical overview. This is meant to show you what you get in the box. So let me show you what you get in the box. You are going to get a little get started guide. Well, it's not really, this is more your conformity guide. All right, not a lot there, probably won't even take that out of the packing. Uh, you are going to get a packet of lugs and screws. All right, so you've got um, over here, um, you've got your feet um, to mount this, you've got a desktop mount this, and then you've got all the screws, including over here, um, your rack mount uh, nuts and screws to mount that in the rack. And as a result, uh, you will actually get two rack ears as well, there you go. Those are your two uh, rack ears uh, to be able to mount that in the rack. You will also get a power cable. Uh, if you're in Australia, the power cable will uh, need to be changed. You'll probably have a different one in the box. Um, this is, gives you an idea that this is the European uh, connector from uh, these models. Um, and it has uh, the pro style connector at the back, which is IEC, but you'll actually see this uh, small clip uh, to hold it in place. Uh, that's not available. You could not make a cable for that at the moment for Australia. Um, so that should be changed out for the region that you're in. Then you're actually going to get the device itself. All right. So let me just hold that up. So hopefully you can get uh, a nice clear view and the camera will focus. There we go. All right. So let me just hold that for a moment. All right. So let's run uh, through this um, and I'll just hold it here because it's fairly heavy. So this is, a, this is the 24 port version. Um, up this end here, we've got two 10 gig SFP ports. All right, and then we've got uh, 24 ports in total all the way across here. Now the key that you can see, and I, I don't know how well this will focus, but you can see there's a white panel at the back of each one of uh, these. And in a moment, I'll add some power so you can actually see what it looks like. Traditionally, obviously, up in the top corners of each of the sockets, we normally have our link lights. These are actually now shined from the back here and they can be designed whichever color that you want to display through there. So obviously we've got our two 10 gig SFPs. Uh, here we've got eight 2.4 gig, sorry, 2.5 gig, get my frequencies wrong, 2.5 gigabit a second ports. Um, and these are PoE++, plus plus, so that's 60 watts a port. Uh, then down here we've got eight one gig ports. These again are PoE++, plus plus, so 60 watts a port. And then we've got eight PoE ports down here. These are PoE plus, all right, so 30 watts a port. I believe the whole uh, wattage for this device is about 400 um, watts. We've got our small LCD control panel uh, down here, and you'll also see our air intake slots across uh, the top here. We don't have any cooling at the sides. Um, you can see where we can put our rack mount uh, ears on the sides there. Let me just hold that up for you, all right. Um, and then at the back, what do we have? Well. Um, over on uh, this side, this is where our um, IEC power will go in. You can see here um, that we've actually got our um, locking mechanisms. The idea is you put your cable in and then it locks into place um, if you have the right cable for that with the locking slot on it. All right, and then over here, um, we've got our RPS slot. So Ubiquiti have a product called the um, redundant power solution. It's not a UPS, not uninterruptible. The idea is that you can have multiple um, power sources. You have two power sources and they can be linked together. So this would have mains connected um, and then a connection to the RPS, which would have a connection to a different power source. And then if the power does fail from the one source, it would switch over to the other. Um, then you'll actually see again, we've got our exit um, air um, slots across the top here as well. 
All right, so that is the unit itself. Let me just um, add some power to this, um, just so you can get the idea. Like I said, there's cables coming for this, they're called the ether lighting cables. Um, but you will now hopefully just be able to see when I plug this in and it, and it powers up, you'll actually be able to see there, all right, how the lights work. Um, this takes about three minutes to boot, so I won't hold on for all of the way. But the idea there is at the back, um, that once you've defined the color and you can see all the different colors that it can go through there, once you've defined those colors, you assign them to a VLAN or whatever you want to show on there. And each one of those ports then can have a unique set of colors or a grouping. And when you come to the rack, you can easily choose what you want um, to um, actually see without having to, again, go and work it. So I've got three at purple and I know that those are for my VLAN four or whatever and I plug those cables in. So hopefully that's been useful. This is the USW Dash Pro, no, Dash Max, Dash Pro. No, Pro Max. <laughs> this is the USW Dash Pro Dash Max Dash 24 Dash PoE. It's a 24 PoE uh, port switch. It's got eight ports of PoE plus eight ports of PoE plus plus, though all of one gig. It's got eight ports of 2.4, 2.5 gigabits a second uh, PoE uh, plus plus, as well as two 10 gig SFP ports and all those lovely color LEDs. Um, and you can see it's still booting there as well. So hopefully that's been useful. Um, do head on over to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty more box openings on network, firewall and wireless devices, plenty on how-to guides, how to set up Unify Network or Unify Protect as well. So why don't you subscribe and stay up to date?